Okay, come I better put the light on. I think the light's a bit bad. Okay, I need to put the light on. I can't guarantee the internet's going to stay. <laughs> this is going to be tricky. All right, so just hang on. I also can't guarantee the, the quality of the internet. So we'll see how that goes. Hopefully it will be decent and it won't play up. I made to shut this quickly. But there's, a, there's something I'm thinking about. And I thought, oh, well, a random live quickly. Um, if the internet plays along. Let's discuss this. Not from the normal, not from a normal 3D perspective, but from a higher perspective and from a different view. So I was thinking about this whole issue. Now, once you've woken up and you've gone into the esoteric and the unseen and the quantum and quantum physics, and you, and you start comparing the science with the reality, we know that everything's energy. And every cell, every atom at the beginning is energy. So think of our, of our cells as batteries. All right. So if we look at it differently, because we've always approached it from the old, you know, very uneducated. Well, I mean, that's actually yeah, a sensitive type. People will take that very sensitively. Let's just say theory. Psychology is theory. OK, so let's look at it. I thought we've never looked at it before. And I'm thinking about this and it's thinking it's. And I, yeah, I've actually put some things together, which made me question this whole thing. So think of our cells, every cell in our body as a battery. It's energy in the middle. Now, energy, it's electromagnetic, as we know now with the whole quantum theory and what da 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 Okay. So, we have things that are sensitive to energies, frequencies, da 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 our body and all that. And it's like a battery. So, we also know it needs water. It's like health as well. So, what we put in, um, too much acid. So, the health, the general health of the body inf it impacts the cells and the whole energy of the body. It's energy. We, sorry, that's uncomfortable. We are to call our energy. Okay, so we look at ourselves as energy. Now, once you've esoterically key woken up and you start looking into, once you've woken up to that part and you can communicate with your over soul or your higher self, or if you want to name it, and you can directly ask your soul or see your past lives and see why you went through what you did, then you have a very different perspective. And you'll also understand that a lot of your trauma, a lot of people have physical problems now, even physical pains. People have illnesses, physical pain. We all, all think it's, it's, it's okay. What we do to the body is, but it's energy and emotions. We all know that they're connected to energy and motion. So when we go back into past lives and we see we've got pain and, and problems, we can, we can attribute some of the problems you're having now to your past life. So you've already come in with karma, with unresolved issues, which are causing problems now. Maybe in many ways, you how you died in a past life, you didn't get over something. That also affects, which we didn't realize, these things tie together. We only looked at this life. This is a this is a 3D, you know, lower way of looking things. It's, that's all, we, you know, the science is as far as our science got. Oh my gosh. It's what happened to you now. Oh, and terrible, terrible. Take some pills and go away. And you can't do anything about it. But it's not. If we look at it instead of as, as uncurable, it's energy. Energy that hasn't moved, energy that's stuck. It's unprocessed energy, which is just in motions. It's our energy, right? When you see your past lives as well. So sometimes people come in here with predispositions. Never mind genetically, because we've got this 3D perspective that you connect. You know, this body, your ancestors are, your mother is genetic. But you've also got Akashic ones because we know those of us that are awake and have seen everything on the other side and know what's going on. That your soul doesn't only choose, uh, your, you know, what you, what you think now are your DNA family. You've got Akashic family. So your soul's been a human, a, ma a female, a male. You've been an American Indian. You've been a white. You've been a, an African. You've been everything, everywhere. So you, you're not only influenced by your DNA, your, your chemical family, your biological family. You're influenced by past lives. That you come in, energy, you're going to come in with, with what they call karma and all that. You're going to come in with that karma. And that's going to influence what a sh sort of shit you're going to have in this life. Put it this way. If you've got unfinished business, karmic debt, because you've never worked enough before, you haven't cleared it. You're going to have all those things. So you most likely are going to come in with a karmic family to, you know, suffer a bit more. So you will experience, because your soul knows, you're going to experience childhood trauma, da, 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 because you, what we don't realize, picked that family. 
your soul picked those people as parents and as whatever. And maybe, you know, in the previous life you were and you were whatever. This is how it works out. It goes around. So what you did wrong kind of comes back to you. And, 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 and. But besides that, what I figured out is what the trauma is. Energy that is not, it's unbalanced. So think about, hi, think about trauma or whatever it is as unbalanced energy. And you don't fix that. You don't move that block or get the energy. To, we, everything's energy, right? We're not going to put emotion into this thing as such. Emotion is energy. Same thing. So you've got energies now, and you can see them, that are unbalanced or stuck in the body. So your whole auric field, all your energies are completely unbalanced and stuck. And the more you do that, the more you pile any dark dense energy or whatever else the process is going to build up and build up. It's like anything, right? It will overbalance and fall over. So what it does is, is mess up the human. You know, the human is eventually going to get to a point where that's it. And physically even. Well, you can because that energy is going to cause a problem or illness, a disease, cancer. A lot of people don't realize, and I figured this out, a lot of people, I think, have come to the same conclusion, being awake, is that cancer is, is a lot of it's unprocessed anger, rage, seriously. That's carried through your life that you haven't processed, you haven't released it. It's, it's rage and anger. All these, anything, unprocessed energies, emotions, this life, past lives, we know manifests into something illness disease things you hold in you don't let that's it and it's unbalanced and i see it if we if we looked at as if we looked at trauma as an accumulation of energy that's unbalanced and we didn't only address it and especially not with tablets forget about the, the have a tablet and go home story that is a disaster because you're not addressing the soul you're not addressing the core issue and why because what most people do is oh you can't we know that once you tapped in, if you talk about it, and you keep saying, I am a victim, I am this, you're manifesting it, you're holding that thing there. So from all levels, psychologists, psychiatrists tell you as well, don't talk about your trauma, because it's, it kind of keeps it, you know, you keep, it's like rehashing it, reliving it, going around, 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 it's, it's not going to heal. Mm, debatable. Because sometimes people just need to vent. You know, if you go to a friend, and you've had a bad day, you, you walk in the house, you just moan and bitch, have a glass of wine, you walk out, you feel a lot better. All you wanted to do was just get it off your chest. So there's a debatable thing there. I don't think we should suppress it. Not a good idea. I think let them let them vent it. But um, we can't say in it. It doesn't help anyone moving off. What they're doing then is just tell the people, all you're doing is let the person repeat their story, but no one's sorting the problem out besides medication, which we know is a complete disaster and it doesn't get to the root. If we go and do the uh, past life regression thing, yes, that can help because you can ask the actual soul where the soul, first of all, the person won't suffer then, which is much, much safer if it's, if it's serious trauma, because you put them under hypnosis. Let that soul, the higher self, knows what's best for that person. The higher self is always going to act in the best interest of the human body, the human soul, the human mind brain that's sitting with all this nonsense. So take them into, I think, take them into past life regression. Go back. Ask the higher self. The, the whole idea of the, if you, the intent is to heal and the intent is to do this when they go into a, a regression, that's what will happen. So the higher self or the soul will take over, as we know, in past life regressions, as many go watch them online. And if you haven't done it yourself, you know, and it's not faked, do it yourself and you'll know. You see it, especially if you, can see them like me you relive that past life you are there you know it's you you know it's not a story no one's telling you they just sit there and you tell them what's happening so that higher self will take the person back to the cause of the trauma and sometimes it's also trickles over to a past life so i think if we handle it from all those aspects take them back do a past life regression let the soul tell you exactly what the cause is and why Secondly, they're under a higher mm, perspective when they're under there because the soul is showing you from a higher perspective under hypnosis why, why you allowed that to happen, why you chose those you know, family members or whatever else. Possibly the person will see the connection, if asked, to the family members or whoever was the abuser in another life. So that will help resolve the issue. Secondly, as we know we do this, you can ask for healing to come in. So you can then heal it. So the person will wake up feeling a hell of a lot better, resolved the cause in this life, 
past life, who the family were, why they chose this family, their soul to connate into for one. And then energy. <clears throat> I think Reiki practitioners or people that do energy, because you can read the auric field or see where the uh, healers can see where the energy is stuck. Because it has to be free will. So these people that have problems at all, we can go to that person and ask. And you can have that energy, we can clear it, unblock it. But you've got to be willing and you have to believe or it won't work. So you've got to be willing, like any healer, to let them do that. And let them move and unblock and move that energy. I think after a past life regression, they're bloody well. They, they'll know it's real. They won't doubt it then. Because they'll, I mean, they'll know it, but then they're like, wow. Because you can't, you can't make that up. You couldn't have imagined it. You can't, you know, they know. So I think if someone's gone for a past life regression and then goes to a Reiki or a healer, now to clear and move energy, what maybe wasn't done in a past life regression. Because I see it's actually energy. And it, it's, comp it's unbalanced, that's all it is. It's not in harmony, there's no balance in the physical body, the energy, too much dark, too much light, it's unbalanced. It's, it accumulates wherever it's, whatever chakra it's in. And that's what I've seen, you can actually lose physical balance. If it's so bad it builds up, you can actually lose, you know, your physical balance can be off. It can manifest in, I mean, horrendous ways, and eventually in cancer and die, and death and all kinds of other ways, people, because they're not able to get past that, they don't understand. And the more they stay in a dark, dense energy and victimhood, the less likely they're ever going to see or understand anything. They will, I'm a victim, that person, oh, I'm not, I'm, you know, they can't understand, actually they chose it. From a soul level, I know that they're much more powerful than that. So I don't think the person will move out of that without that perspective. You've got to get them out of the dark, dense energy of this victimhood. Um, bitter, and your soul becomes bitter. And once they die, they'll know and they'll remember everything, and they'll be like, oh shit. And then they've got to come back again, and hopefully they'll remember and rise out in the, in the next life. I don't know how many lifetimes it might go around. They just dig themselves so it can be you know you could just it can't be very pleasant to keep repeating this and coming back to earth and going back to that cycle again um until you learn um forgiveness is i think the most the most yeah a lot of it on the planet is is lack of a lot of people not willing to forgive and cannot see it from they don't want to from a higher perspective they don't understand that there is that either because no one you do you go to any gp or practice it's, oh, well, oh, dear, yes, absolutely, oh, right, it's probably that childhood, yes, dear, did have a tablet, off you go, you know, a few weeks later, and off you go, that's it. Never solved anything. We've just, I mean, on this planet, we've got the biggest, the most mental health we've ever had in our lives. It doesn't matter how many pills and shrinks, it's not doing any good the conventional way, because we didn't understand it. We weren't on a higher enough level of consciousness, and we didn't connect the dots, um... Not something they trained in at all, and they would know. Uh, so, yeah, I don't think we're just there as, as a human race yet. We haven't raised enough in conscious, and they're not mixing the You know, well, it's convenient. It's good money just to have a pull and go home. And you know, the more people have patience, it gives. It's a it's job. Someone has a job here because a therapist and give them a pull, and everyone's got a little toe in it. And uh, yeah, it's difficult. Yes, they're amazing. Yeah, it's incredible what you see on a past life regression. And sometimes you'll find that the problems you're having now are linked <laughs> to a past life. Or what people that get into the trauma, that they're repeating trauma, or bad relationships, or abusive partners, whatever else. It's not as simple as it seems. And they're stuck in the rut and they don't see it. But if you're under a past life deep regression and you're talking to the soul, the soul knows why. The soul will explain to the person why. And it's all recorded. When the person wakes up, they'll know exactly and they'll listen to it, what they say. And they know because you're actually awake. You are, you are conscious of it. Can't explain it. You are very conscious. You, it's like you're the second person. You're listening to your whoever else. It's your soul telling you and showing you everything. It depends on your vision, on your sight. It's amazing, yeah. We'll have so many better, um, and then people won't feel, they won't feel this victimized because they realize they're actually not a victim and how powerful their soul is and why this, they chose that, that life, that family. That's fascinating. And when we started seeing it as energy, because no one ever focuses on the energy, 
And no one also, we don't look at the deficiencies. So we don't look at the whole thing. This is a big problem here, is the balance. Mind, body, spirit. No one's addressing this. They're just thinking of the monkey mind, the brain, which is just, I mean, it's a computer. Ah, yes, I hope so too. It's, it's, we don't address mind, body, spirit. Body, so what are you doing? Physical health, nutri nutrients. Not most of it is nutrient deficiencies. Gut bacteria is messed up. Can you ask to end a life less than you agreed on? You, there's no set thing. That's a people, people. This is a human thing that humans think that 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 we have a contract. We have a written contract that we can't break, and you know your death is agreed on. And this is this is a human, <laughs> and it's not actually like that. So we think that right. We agreed to come in this planet, a whole life planned out, and we're gonna die at this age, and that's how we. You know, we it, it, also think about it logically. I also realize when you, when you start thinking like, yeah, right, okay, free will. We have free will all the time. Funny enough, you manifest your own death and when and how. You have a huge choice in it. You don't have as you choose how you're going to die. Also, you know, what you do, your energy, karmic cycle, whatever you've done in your life. So we have a choice. And no, um, absolutely. You can go and change it. You can change. You can stay longer. Every now, your thoughts, your consciousness, what you... So absolutely, there's no sign. This is a contract. This is not. There's no lawyers up there. <laughs> There's no contracts written in things that you can't change. We can absolutely change as a soul uh, anything. Timelines, frequencies, uh, past life. You can heal your lineage. This is very much needed, especially in the indigenous. It's to stop. They've got to cut the cycle. Sorrow, grief, uh, victimhood, anger, you know, no forget. They've got to forgive and forget. Wipe that slate clean and start again. You've got to forget the past. We can't help on the past again. Because what you're forgetting is that you're not, I've been myself, many indigenous roles, many things. You re, that's what you've got to realize. You're not this being or this color or this sex as a soul. You've had so many. And there's a reason for it. Um, but you get to see when you do die, your, your whole life, it makes perfect sense. Absolute perfect sense. And you, you would actually know that you came in to do those things. You, why you chose those circumstances and family that you're most likely going to have that experience. As bad as you think it is. Hi. But we've got to start addressing it as a whole thing. Because this is what the thing is, the balance. Mind, body, spirit. And we're not doing it. So, no doctor, if you've got a mental health, will tell you, okay, take microbiome to go and take, you know, probiotics and, how's, and go test the microbiome. Because... Most people don't tell you that your serotonin and all those chemicals that are supposed to be make you happy are not made by the brain and in the brain serotonin. It's by the gut. So the first thing you've got to do is fix the gut and gut bacteria. Then they don't, no one looks at nutrition because if, you, if you've got a problem with zinc, magnesium, it affects the brain depression. So most people, if they got their diet sorted out, microbiome, started exercising, and if you know, go nature, and got all those nutrients that they went deficient in zinc, there's a balance and all the things that affect the brain, this anxiety and depression will be gone. So most people are suffering normal things. It's normal just everyday life. Too much tired, unbalanced energy. Stress. So center themselves. Ground. If we addressed it mind, body, spirit, big, there would be no problem on the planet. Because we're addressing, this is typical of humans, we've boxed everything. It's only the mind. We don't, or it's not the body. So we, don't, we don't address the whole thing. It's compartmentalized. We're actually terribly in this country. Everything, your job, everything is in little compartments. Everything's little compartments. We've compartmentalized everything. You know, look, gynecology, psychology. I mean, it's all little boxes, you know. We're not addressing the whole human. And the only way I think we're ever going to clear mental health is mind, body, spirit. Because it's unbalanced. Where's the unbalance? Well, we know if there's no, if the, if the microbiome, the gut is buggered up, there's no of those dopamine, serotonin, all those chemicals are not going to work. There's no way they're going to be happy. They're going to have problems. They're going to have health problems. They're going to have obese, all kinds of issues they're going to start having. And mental health, big time. If there's an unbalance and a lack of magnesium and zinc and certain things in the brain, you will have depression and problems. Absolutely. So if that person went on a strict, healthy diet for a while and exercise, 
the deep mind, and then they can fix the microbiome, fix the gut, and all the nutrients and, and you know, supplements and whatever else, you'll see a difference. Absolutely. And then did some Reiki work, energy work, to do, you know, move energy, healing. Massive difference. Do a past life regression, clear any karma, whatever nonsense you did in your past life, why you chose this, and your soul, and see why you went through that experience and that trauma, why you experienced it, why you walked into it as a soul, because your soul is very capable of guiding you. It's amazing. Uh, and no, I stopped. Um, I did. I did stop, but I must say that my daughter came to stay with me for a bit, and I've been doing it, and I have had every now and then. But I stopped completely for a bit. Huh? I stopped completely, especially when they appear in front of you, and you're like, mm. <laughs> "It's not nice." When you want to bless them and thank them for giving their life, and they and every time they appeared in front of you, you taste it. And I could see it. It was like, "Wow, oh. it's yeah, uh, yeah." When you get in such a high frequency, you won't touch it at all. I didn't. I didn't touch any of it. You won't. Um, the frequency goes up there. Yeah. And food. That's another thing. No, no one teaches us. It's live food. Most people that are, if you've got any mental health things, if you're taking drugs, alcohol, and eating junk food, well, that's it. I mean, you know, you're going to stay in this rut. You're not going to stay out of it or climb out of it or stay. You know, get out of it for good. You're always going to have a problem. It's sabotaging. So you can give them pulls. All you're doing is, is exactly just keeping it, trying to suppress it. You're keeping it here. Because you give them the pull to try and balance out, and then they're just shoving in junk food, alcohol, and, other, and it's just a dead end. I mean, it's, it's a... But then they'll leave the planet. And when they leave, when they die, they'll say, oh, shit, okay, wow, is that why? Okay, I wasn't, oh, right, oops. You know, and they come back again and do it again. It's, um, it's a short life on this planet, really compared to your soul's existence. Yes, of course they can. They can hear everything. Absolutely everything. Every thought, not only the universe, everything that you admit. Your thoughts are energy. So especially people thinking negative ones. Absolutely everything. Before you even speak it, it's known. Yeah. You don't have to vocalize them. They, you don't. You know what we do? We sit in meditation. We think we have to tell our guides. We ask them. That's just the way we're doing. So we ask them. Okay, can you please show me what I need to clean, heal? Da da da. They already know. <laughs> what you, we should just be saying. Say, we should say, please show us what you what we need to know or see. They know exactly what you need, want, what you're worrying about, what you're thinking about, everything. The entire quantum field does. Not only them. I mean, the entire universe. It goes onto the earth grid. Yeah. It can be seen. No. No, your your higher self is, is divine. It hasn't got any judgment of hate and it's much way above all this nonsense. Any of this nonsense. Yeah. It's amazing. We need but we've got to understand you cannot expect to be uh, You've got a mind, a body. It's chemical. It's energy. It's hormones. It's everything. It's like a. It's like a very highly tuned, say Ferrari. Now you're trying to drive your Ferrari by putting, you know, say sugar into the tank and this and that, and you think it's going to go well. Same with your body. Now mind, body, spirit. We're supposed to. It's a temple. We're supposed to look after our body. If now, if your energy, understand now this quantum physics. Understand what your atom and the cells look like. It's pure energy. Okay, and it's consciousness. Everything's conscious. Your body listens. So if you're not looking after your body, it's not going to run very well, and you're just going to start breaking down in the story. That's why we don't live long. Take note. 80 years or something. I mean, people, the average humans, because we've been poisoning ourselves. And energy needs to move constantly. So exercise. And if you think of the average human sitting at a desk for eight hours a day, you're not moving any energy. It's really unhealthy. So these office jobs, desk jobs, are really, really bad. Because there's no energy in motion, it's moving. So it's stagnant, getting stuck, stale energy. So yeah, I suppose if they did Tai Chi, Qi Gong, you've got to do some sort of physical energy. So Tai Chi, Qi Gong, yoga, stretching, running, whatever you want to do, move that energy. If they did that and it'll be fantastic. But then you've got to eat properly. Food, live foods. No, we, we were never, our doctors aren't trained in nutrition, aren't trained in any of this. They're basically just pharmaceutical 
they really are. They are just dispensers, basically. They are. They dispense medicine. But look at how much training they have and all the nutrients, micronutrients, the gut bacteria. Oh, you know, good luck with that one. They just think of the best. Oh, it's vitamin B. I hope you, if you. I mean, you blame them. There's so much to, too much to study. So that's why you have this. They may even specialized. That's a problem. But then they don't look at the whole being as a human. You are mind, body, spirit. The mind is the tape recorder. The mind is the pain in the butt in all sides, even in the esoteric, because the mind, anyone, Buddhists will tell you everyone, because the mind is the one that, it's the computer. It, so everything you've done in this life, it remembers, little stories, and it stores all that shit. Now you, oh, don't do that. Oh, it replays the shit. So the mind is the one that terrorizes, and, and anyone that it replays that thing over and over and over. So we need to clear it. But that they have to do with that practice. So yeah, we got to look at all aspects because we can't fix one. There's no balance. We'll never, you know, that's where our disease comes from as well. It's unbalanced energy that's stuck a lot of it. And it's not, people can say, oh, because you, 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 if your family had it, you're going to get some blah, 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 nonsense. Because if you move that energy and look after it, mind, body, spirit, nothing will happen to you. And your mind and you have control of your body, your smart body, program it. You can absolutely not. You absolutely have control of it. And you won't be, none of that nonsense will happen to you. Doesn't matter what your great grandparents had and what illness is so called genetic, absolutely nonsense. You can reprogram it. We know that. Consciousness. But yeah, I think we need to teach. Um, but look at it. We got people sitting in. We had people sitting in offices all day, and you wonder why. No energy moving. Us. Sitting at a desk all day. That energy is not being moved. The body. There's no energy being moved. The energy stale and getting stuck. Wow, eating shit food. Wow. There's all these things. I mean, that's, I mean, you wonder why we had this massive problem on the planet. People unhappy. I mean, everything. It was, it was a, a recipe for disaster. You know, it was the end of times. There we are. It got to the point where we went to the lowest, lowest humans could go. Like we pushed ourselves to the extreme of the darkness of the, I think, the soul. And then it was, then the new age started, all this, you know, whatever. New, new epoch started. It's interesting. We really went to the very extreme. And you could see the world was like at breaking point. Humans, they were unhappy. We had obesity. We've had everything. I mean, just completely. Why? Mind. We never, ever look at the whole thing as one. Mind, body, spirit. We have to look at it as a whole. And then we will have a whole, balanced, happy society. We can't address a problem. You know what I mean? Just, oh, it's a mind. No, it's a lot. And this is what they always did. Oh, no, have a talk, have a pull, go home, and, 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 and you know. <laughs> no. Everything. And even our children. People start feeding their children properly and teaching them this. And they do their qigong and all together, whatever else. And you will have a complete different society. Healthy, balanced, happy. Yeah. But you can't expect happy humans if there no, is no balance in their life. You just All your life is work. And there's no pleasure, there's no fun, there's no happiness. Well, there we are. You're going to have a breakdown. Because the soul is unhappy. Hi. Yeah. You've got to, you've got to balance. Uh, no, there's some, okay. Uh, um, yeah, I could do. Uh, it takes a hell of a long time. At the moment, we see if I remember to upload things there. Yeah. Hi, thanks. Yes, I know. I've just I've been very busy because I'm I'm busy moving. I've got it this week. My daughter and I are packing, and she's moving. So I'm going to pack up everything and move my daughter, and then I'll probably move the following week. So the end of this week, my daughter's busy. Me, oh, it's a lot. Wow, I've got a lot on my plate, and I see there's new energies coming into the planet. Just a warning for those out there. Um, I felt it this afternoon. I started making salad probably at about three o'clock or so. I started feeling it and I'm feeling it now. My cells are vibrating. My body's getting, I feel the waves of energy coming into the planet. So we've got something heading into the planet and, and spiking, starting to spike. Oh, good, please. <laughs> and I was woken up many times last night. I was awake a lot last night. 
So there's definitely uh, new energies coming into the pen of something going on. So heads up there, we're in for fun. Yeah, we'll see. There's no balance in the human because your soul didn't come here to work, pay bills and die. No ways. I mean, that's why you're going to have unhappy humans because they're not living, you know. So we have to, yeah, it is. I know, well, I can feel it. It's starting. I'm thinking, oh boy, here we go. Are we going to be sleeping or wide awake again for a few nights sooner? <laughs> Wait and see. Sweating, whatever happens, who knows? I don't know. Okay, yeah. Uh, yeah, people are, as they rise in consciousness, people, people's Akashic records are going to start coming up and people are going to have vivid dreams of of them. They're going to have, you know, it's going to be like real. They're going to have their past life or be. So could you imagine if you were really not a, you had a bad past life or you were not a good being? in a past life, and that comes up vividly, like as a memory or, f or a vivid dream, um, and you're going to know, and you're going to go, ooh, it's going to be disturbing, yeah? Get, we got to get used to this change. We're getting, becoming multidimensional. Are you? Okay, yeah, I know. Well. Oh. But yeah, we've got to get people home. And that's what I say, people aren't getting better because all they're doing is, you know, okay, well, don't talk about it. Um, and has a tablet. <laughs> Whatever, you know, wow. And that's just the worst thing you can do. So yeah, we, we really have to address and our lives, which is, this is what's happening on the planet. I think as humanity, as souls, we just said, that's it. You know, we, it was time because we, we got to the point where, you know, wow. So there we are, the planet is changing, the energies, the whole thing is happening. Um, and people are, people are waking up and looking at this and realizing and questioning. And the new human is balance, it's all about balance. But that's in everything, mind, body, spirit. Uh, you've got to be health, life, happiness, everything's going to be balanced. Work, there's going to be a complete balance. Life will be balanced in every way. What's my name? Honor. Honor. And I'm talking from experience, by the way. And not only esoterically, because I've done that as well, obviously. Um, myself and then past life and healers and da da da, all that sort of stuff. But also, from not into what I tap into and come down, but myself, personal experience. So, um, yeah. Oh, absolutely. It's about time. Absolutely. <laughs> I think as souls, you know, we've thought, okay, we can't play this anymore. Yeah, you no. Know, well, remember, we all one, so we are, once we leave or the other part of our soul on the other side of the veil, is, is the creator. So all of us make up God or the creator. So we're absolutely in tune and in sync and planned all this nonsense, yeah. We're all guiding our human, you know, little bodies on this planet. So the higher aspect of you is absolutely guiding John, Joe, Mary, you know, everyone at the moment in this, thank goodness, yeah. Um, some of them just don't remember and don't want to get out. They don't want to stop playing 3D, as you notice. They, they're happy with the way it was. <laughs> and this very dark game they were playing, and they want to keep playing the game. But yeah, let's see. I definitely think, uh, I think if our, um, I wouldn't say psychologists, because they'd have to retrain themselves, but did this. If you went to somebody that could do past life, Reiki, or energy healing, um, and oh, wow. And, you know, knew about nutrition, you know, microbiome, a very, very important role, massively. Because if the gut isn't working, the gut is the one that creates the serotonin and dopamine, all those things that, you know, the brain needs. And no one tells you that. People think, oh, no, it's in your brain. So I've got to take pills to, no, not at all. That's a trick. Those happy pills do not work. And they're not, and it's not created there. It's created in your gut. Yeah. No, I don't. I don't. Yeah. So people have to look at that, but they don't realize. Um, they, if they don't sort it out, they're going to, they think, oh, well, it doesn't matter. I'm suffering and I'm just going to, and I'll die and I'll come back next time. No, no, no. Because what you don't sort out now, <laughs> this nonsense that you're carrying with you, dark, dense energy and overlay, you are going to come back into the planet Yes, in a new energy and higher consciousness, but the same nonsense is going to start going as we're moving the new epoch, thank goodness. 
So they will be going up. It's not like they're going to stay in this, oh my gosh. But they have to sort out because they haven't cleared its free choice. They're going to come back in with that old nonsense. It's like it's going to, I wouldn't say, over, it wouldn't push them into the, you know, the way they behave next time because the human is changing, the consciousness is changing. So when they reincarnate the soul, everything's going to be a bit better. But they haven't resolved that. See, if they didn't learn that lesson, you have to evolve at your own pace, your soul. So if you think you can just get through this life and I'll die and I'll come back, it'll all be fine, you know, I won't have another one. Most of them just think, oh, I'm dying, I'm going to be at peace. No, no, no. <laughs> you come back. <laughs> and then you're, going to, then you're going to play the game again. <laughs> you just won't remember. You might have another shitty when you're, oh, shit, this is, life sucks. No, it doesn't suck. You didn't realize that you are actually making the unsuck part. Because what you do and what you think also goes out and it'll come back to you or twice as bad. Okay. So the more you be a victim, the more victim, um, whatever comes to you. It's a very, if people think whatever they put out energy, that'll come around and it's going to come back to me. You, you'll think, you'll be careful of what you think and say. It's part of the change. We need it. We need it to change the planet. And we need it to, it's part, this is the, uh, is the catalyst for the shift or for the change in the planet that needed to bring down the darkness and for people to see, you know, what's wrong, what's right on the planet. So this is, plays a big role in it. So when it's ready, when it's done its job, it will go. But it's, it's doing a very good job and showing people what's wrong on the planet and what's right and, ooh, a lot of things. So it's playing a, it's got a divine role, yeah? Otherwise, people wouldn't have thought, people wouldn't have... If you weren't forced to stay at home for a bit, you wouldn't have reflected on yourself. You wouldn't have gone within. You wouldn't have had to face the things that aren't right in your life or the things you want to change or things would have just carried on. So, yeah, it, it has played a, it's an important role on the pandemic on the planet. Absolutely. But we as just humans don't. If we always ask to, for, to be shown the highest perspective, we will. And then we'll see it from a whole different um, ball game. But anyway, there we are. There's something I really think they need to do. I can't imagine a big farm or any of those people wanting to, no one's going to sponsor that because I'll lose money. <laughs> because the, you're not pushing the pull. And just carry on however you're doing it. Go and drink, go and smoke, go and eat rubbish, go and lie in bed, don't move. And here's some pulls and you'll be, you know, where we are. No. Nope. It doesn't benefit them, does it? And they're the ones who pay for the training most of the time and schools and medicals and a lot of most of it's backed by sponsored by pharmaceutical and drug companies and chemical companies, which you can't make pharmaceutical without chemicals. So it all goes back to the same the same people that are destroying the planet, like Monsanto, any kind of form of chemical that's poisonous. It goes in your water, your food, your medicine, chemicals. Really? Yeah. We're destroying our, you know, soil, our pesticides, glyphosate and stuff. Kills all the, even soil, it's depleted 40, 40 or 50% of the micro, you know, uh, hookers and things in the soil. But killed, factually. It's, it's, go look, studies. So those chemicals killed off half that. Can you imagine what it's doing in your gut? Exactly. So all these cereals and rubbish you're eating are all GMO crops genetically sprayed or glyphosate, you know, they've got Roundup and whatever on them. So that's killed all our gut bacteria. Most of our illness, as we know now, because after that research and study was done on microbiome, I think you won a Nobel Prize for it. We've now linked microbiome to so many illnesses and diseases. It's more important, there's gut bacteria than anything else, than your genes. There's more of them in you. So that has more control over your health than anything else. So your gut bacteria is probably fundamental. Number one, any doctor should go to for Alzheimer's, any any illness you've got, you should have first fix and address your gut bacteria. That we know. If you go and look at it and you're like, wow, and how much they've linked and how many illnesses they've linked to that and there's and being short and not being enough of them. And what is what does antibiotics do? Kill the gut bacteria, the good gut. It's an unbalance in the bacteria which is all over your body, skin, you know. So what are you doing? Putting antiseptics all over your skin. You're killing the bacteria in your skin. You're killing the bacteria in your gut. Everything is killing these things which actually played a crucial role in our health and balance. It's incredible.
But, yeah, there we are. So you see some people out there that'll do that, and we will eradicate mental health. But a lot of people will lose billions. It's, I mean, how many billions of people are taking some sort of happy pill, psych medicine? Billions of people. They're not going to push it and promote, you know, doing away with it in, in a whole way, mind, body, spirit, because that business is millions. Millions. I mean, and everyone, and this way, everyone's going to miss, miss out. So nobody is, is in, in the business is trying to promote ending it. Because everybody makes money out of it. It's so sad that, you know, we, this profit-driven system that we created, what we want to call capitalism, maybe you want to call it, Stop so much. We stop. It's that's why we don't have a cure. That's as why we don't have a lot of problems on our planet, as people are seeing now and coming to light. There's a reason. This is a problem we've got. There's no incentive to cure people. There's no incentive to anything. Um, because if you completely fixed or healed people, there'd be no patients, and there would be no hospitals, and a lot of people would be out of work. I think it was Japan. Those doctors. You only pay the doctor. Um, I think he gets paid when you're healthy. As soon as you're sick, you stop paying him. So I think the, the doctor's always paid in Japan. Something like that in old school. They always paid the doctor because he's supposed to keep you healthy. The minute you get sick, no, the doctors do not get paid. So you don't get sick, people. Can you imagine? That's a good system. <laughs> it, would ch it would flip this whole system around. Because no doctors want to see patients sick because no doctors can imagine. If you if you get sick, all payments are stopped to hospitals and doctors because you shouldn't be sick. I mean, could you? We'd have a, we'd have a one hell of a healthy society. But now that it's the other way around, doctors only make money, of course, when you go and see them when you're sick. Hospitals, so it pays to help. So doctors are basically working hand in hand with pharmaceutical. Here's a poll. Take a script off you go. You know whatever. Horrendous. Oh well, anyway, everyone's, it's a little, it's a cycle we made, it's a, it's a really broken cycle. Chemicals, pesticides, a whole lot, it's all a... But there we are, we start treating everything in mind, body and spirit, and you'll see our diseases, our everything will start disappearing. Mental health, majorly. There wouldn't be any... But the person doesn't, we don't see that, we have to have a balance in our life too. And if people don't look at their lives, we have to have a balance. There we are. We can't work, we can't have all work and no no rest, all, all work and no play, all, you know, whatever, and just all rubbish food and expect to, you know, just be happy and things be fine. And the system, it's like putting rubbish petrol or paraffin in a petrol tank, you know, it doesn't work. It won't work. Anyway, but energy, I saw that. And it can become so unbalanced and it's not going to be fixed via the mind or treating the mind, which all these things do is only treating the mind and chemicals. It can only be done by energy, by Reiki healers are moving that energy in chakras. So we've got to look at it like that. I discovered that. I was like, oh, wow, okay. And you know when you're doing your healing, what you're doing, and you see it, you're pulling out serious dark, dense energy, releasing it from the body. And same with these things, you manifest. I manifested a, a what you call a cyst here in my throat. I manifested a cyst. Dark dense energy stuck with the process. I hold all that energy here, and I've got myself a lump over here. <laughs> Basically, almost gone. Don't worry about it. That's that was energy, and that was why I know. Because now, if you're able to tap in and understand and see where that comes from and why, that's your throat chakra. Why did I know exactly where? Because I was showing where, why and what. I was like, ooh, yep. And there we are. And it will give the person a different idea too because they're able to see why it happened, what were the causes, and they won't have a problem with mental health in the future because they'll understand the process, how the soul works, how the energy works. You see. Now we don't tell them anything. We're not empowering them because we just get told, oh, you said to someone else, you hoping they're going to tell you what's wrong? Oh, you got this and that. Uh, this is theory as well. Oh, okay. According to the symptoms, which I mean, thumb sucked. You can go online and they all overlap. So I could be bipolar. You could be this. You could be like hundred things. So it's a thumb suck. Oh well, I think you've got. Let's say bipolar. Whoops. Oh, we are. Here's the thing. Off you go. Take these tablets. That'll help you. <laughs> Nothing. 
disempowering you, not understanding you have it for a reason, why I have it, where it comes from, when, you know, that's the problem. Big mess. Anyway, yeah. And we won't in this week, and I think not hearing from them, if you if you do this past life regression, your soul, you know where it's coming from, a much higher level, then it's like, wow. It's not somebody else, not like a third party telling you or a thumb sucking it too. And your higher self knows better as well. That's probably why a lot of people don't buy it and don't believe it. And they were never better because they don't, it do not solve the problem. Because you're telling someone you know, your higher self knows it's a lot of bollocks, you get a pill and off you go and go home. You see? So you know deep down and, and your soul knows from a higher, that is not the reason why you, you have a problem. So I think this is why the whole thing is just this vicious circle. Anyway, that was my that was my thoughts on it. What I what the assumption or the thing or the conclusion I came to um, from all sides, and I can talk from all sides as well. So it was it's uh, yeah. Hi hi. So there yeah. There we are, and hopefully we will start. You know. Time, you have to change humanity, and that's going to take a lot. Um, there's a lot of souls in the planet, you know, that need to raise in consciousness, and they're not getting, they're not going to get it from, from. Unfortunately, of course, whether they get mental health, whether they go exactly to those people, which only address the mind, which is just the computer, the storage thing. Give them a tablet. We know it's not going to fix anything because they're not addressing the microbiome, the gut, the diet, the, the energy, the and nothing. And that's it. You just got a constant patient. It's always going to come back and most likely accumulate trauma. It'll just get worse and worse and worse over lifetimes or they manifest illness and die of a disease. End of story. I have, thank you very much. I have found it perfectly, thank you. And wonderful. And when you remember, go home, you'll remember as well and you will see and you'll be like, oh my gosh. It's a love that you can't even find on this planet. Not love, it's more bliss than, than thing. But thank you. I'm good, thank you. I have divine, divine guidance and love and absolutely. But thank you very much. Nice of you to care. For good. Hello, people. All right, I'm going to head off to sleep. I'm tired. And as I say, we've got energies coming into the planet. Yes, sweet. I know. People are concerned for your wealth. They don't know. There we are. They forget where they come from. It's lovely. And they don't remember. You don't see. And you, yeah. That's why. That's the soul choice. If we did, if we remembered, we, we would be, you wouldn't have free will because your soul knows everything. And so there's no ways it would, the game would work. There'd be pointless you being on earth. Because you know all information, all time, all knowledge, all everything. Um, so yes, there'd be absolutely no point you being here. Because free will would not work. It wouldn't, wouldn't happen. Uh, but it's, and you choose, people don't realise. They think, oh my gosh, I'm stuck here, we're all doomed. They have no, really, you can't wait to get back. And you come back and you, you choose to be here. Because this is such a short life and you have a purpose here. We all are. Changing the energy on the galaxy, actually. What we do here doesn't only affect the planet, it affects the galaxy. It's going to be amazing. All right, lovely people. Yeah, it is. I just, I, I thought, well, we do that and we'll see a different world. We won't have mental health. End of story. Because we understand it's energy and energy needs to be moved. It can't be blocked and it can't be stuck. And some carries through from other lives. Not only this genetic, you know, all these things, you've got to put them all together. And they all play a role. And diet, exercise, health massively, microbiome, gut bacteria. Okay, people. Lovely, lovely to see you all here. Lots of love to everybody. Be happy, be at peace. Everything is good. And it's going according to plan. And if you want to know, if you're worried about what's going on, ask to be shown from the highest perspective. From God's perspective. Okay. Source, creator, God. And you'll see the light is, it's a very fine balance. Okay, it can't be, it's 
fine-tuned. It's all happening according to plan. All perfect. It's all good. Everything's good. Being alive is good. Not being alive, all of it is wonderful. There isn't anything, you know, to worry about. Because when you die, it's also awesome. Having no body or leaving and um, getting rid of this physical body is oh, is amazing. Um, so much freedom. You can do so much more with you. you haven't got you haven't stuck with it.